In this video, we will cover replacing the flushing foam. When you receive a warning message for a flushing foam replacing color white, you will need to perform the following tasks. First, ensure that you have the proper supplies needed to perform the replacement task. You will need the pair of gloves that come with the printer or inside some of the consumables during replacement or you may use your own preferred latex gloves. You will need cleaning solution part number BGCX40 E002 K0052. You will need a paper towel or napkin to use as a base to set under the cleaning cup for pouring the solution or also for later while working at the printer for spill protection. If the printer is prompting for both white and color replacements, you will need two flushing foams which is normally what will come in one replacement pack. If you do not have the flushing foams, you should contact your dealer or their parts department to purchase a set. The part number for the flushing foam replacement is SB7006001. In addition, you will need some cleaning sticks that came in the starter kit. These are known as Cleaning Stick R type cleaning stick. They are part number SB7008001. You should only need a few for this operation. You will need the cleaning cup that came with your printer in the accessory box. This is part number SB6925001. Take the cap off the cleaning solution bottle and pour the cleaning cup three-fourths of the way full. Then store the bottle for later use and move the other supplies near the printer. From standby, we will press the down arrow key until we have maintenance highlighted and then press OK. In the submenu, we will scroll down until maintenance parts clean replace is highlighted and press OK. A list of any pending maintenance items will be displayed. Ensure that the flushing foam replacing color white message is displayed. We will be focusing on this item only through all these items listed need to be completed once this process is started. If the list displays more than one maintenance item, take note of this and press OK. If the list was longer than four items, you may have to press OK more than once. You can proceed as mentioned previously by pressing OK to move past this list. You will need to press OK once more to begin the maintenance parts replacement process. The plant will move in and out and the carriage will park in the flushing position. You'll be notified that you have 20 minutes to complete any pinning items for the maintenance process inclusive of the flushing foam replacement we will be focusing on in this video. Be prepared to complete all the items in the allotted time. To turn off the power in normal mode, push and hold the power button for one second and you'll hear a beep letting you know you can release the button. Do not hold the button down past hearing the beep. Once the power has been turned off, we can open the lid of the printer to gain access to the maintenance station area and the flushing foams. Before proceeding to exchange the flushing foams, it is best to always look at the internal area of the printer in regards to the back CR rail, rollers, and guide shaft to judge the level of ink mist buildup they may have, and if it is time for periodic maintenance. There is a separate video for cleaning the internal area of the printer, which this information is also located in the manual. This is only a reminder of this instance for being a good time to check the ink mist buildup in your machine. After checking the internal areas of the printer, take the carriage and slowly move it to the right past the flushing receivers so that you have access to both the receivers. With a cloth prepared, reach in and squeeze the receiver arms and lift straight up, immediately placing the cloth underneath to prevent any ink droplets from falling. Place the cloth and tray with foam onto the prep working area with a staged cleaning cup, cleaning sticks, and replacement foam. Flip the tray over onto the cloth or flip the foam out of the tray and prepare a swab with cleaning solution. Take the swab and begin cleaning the inner part of the tray where the waste ink drains. Ensure that the bottom hole is always free and open for ink to pass through and that the tray can drain easily. If there is any excess ink or debris on the outside of the receiver, be sure to look for and clean that as well, especially around the top where the print heads pass over the receivers. The drain hole in the receiver should look free and clear of debris like this one. With the receiver prepped, you may now take and insert it in the directions shown back into the maintenance unit. Be sure that each arm piece hooks over the notch. We will now repeat this process for the CYK side flushing foam. Please be sure to dispose of the flushing foams and cleaning sticks as waste ink material in accordance with your local waste management policies. 
You may use a new cleaning stick for this process. However, you can also use an already dirty cleaning stick and the same cleaning solution that was used on the white side. With a receiver prepped, you may now tape and insert it in the directions shown back into the maintenance unit. Be sure that each arm piece hooks over the notch. Before putting the flushing foams into the receivers, take the waste cleaning solution and dispose of it by pouring it into each flushing receiver. This will help keep the receiver moist and make it easier to clean in the future. You may now take the replacement foam and insert it into the receiver. Ensure that it is flush and not bent or skew in any way that caused it to stick up and possibly touch the printhead. With both foams replaced and the receivers resting appropriately in the maintenance unit, we can now close the lid. We now can power the machine back on to clear the maintenance prompt for replacement. A head cleaning will automatically be performed to refresh the heads after being undocked. If you need additional support, please fill out our web form at brotherdtg.com forward slash help for further assistance.